All right, how's it going, everybody? It's C Rad TV back with another video. So, of course, it's time for the NFL Week Three picks. So, of course, last week with my picks, I went nine and seven. So, my overall record improves to nineteen and fourteen. Let's see if we can do a bit better this week. So, yeah, NFL Week Three. Let's jump right into the picks. So, here we go. Starting off the Thursday night game, we have the Tennessee Titans and the Jacksonville Jaguars playing in Jacksonville. This is a tough game. I almost wanted to pick Jacksonville because I feel it could be a trap game considering Jacksonville's 0-2 and Tennessee's 2-0. In the... I guess a tough one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go Jacksonville. I think this is a trap game. So yeah, give me the Jaguars over the Titans. I think this is a trap game for Tennessee. Next up to the Sunday games, we have the Cincinnati Bengals and the Buffalo Bills playing in Buffalo. Yeah, I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills in that one. The Bengals are just not there. Next up, we have the Detroit Lions, the Philadelphia Eagles playing in Philadelphia. This is a 50-50 game. Could go either way. I'm going to take the Eagles to win this one 27-24. I mean, last week I took the line, I picked the Lions to lose, and then they won. So let's see if we can do it again. See if that works. See if this works. Next up, we have New York Jets, New England Patriots playing in Foxborough. Yeah, I got the Patriots over the Jets in this one. Next up, Oakland Raiders, Minnesota Vikings playing up in Minnesota. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Vikings in that one. They're just not sold on the Raiders this year. Next up, we got a good one here. Baltimore Ravens, Kansas City Chiefs playing in Kansas City. This is a tough game to call. Um, I'm going to say the Chiefs in this one. I'm going to take Kansas City. Next up, Atlanta Falcons, Indianapolis Colts playing in Indianapolis. Yeah, I got the Falcons in that one. Give me Atlanta. Next game, Denver Broncos, Green Bay Packers playing in Lambeau. Yeah, I got the Packers. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that game's close. Give me Green Bay in that one. Next up, oh, this game's going to suck ass. Miami Dolphins, Dallas Cowboys playing in Dallas. Yeah, fuck out of here. I got the Cowboys beating the shit out of the Dolphins. Give me Dallas in that one. Next game, New York Giants, Tampa Bay Buccaneers playing in Tampa Bay. Eli Manning is out. Daniel Jones is in. I'm going to take the Giants in this one. I'm going to take the Giants. I think this is a trap game for Tampa Bay. Give me the Giants in that one. Next up, Carolina Panthers, Arizona Cardinals playing in Arizona. I'm going to take the Panthers in that one. Next up. Pittsburgh Steelers, San Francisco 49ers played in San Francisco. Ben Roethlisberger is out the rest of the season after getting elbow surgery. So this is going to be a brutal stretch unless somebody can step up for Pittsburgh. I'm going to take the 49ers in this one. And oh, by the way, the Steelers also got Mika Fitzpatrick from the Dolphins. And even if the Steelers wanted to tank, they can't now because... The Steelers' first round pick this year is now property of the Dolphins. So, Pittsburgh, welcome to being stuck between a rock and a hard place. But yeah, give me the 49ers in that one. Next up, we have the New Orleans Saints and the Seattle Seahawks playing in Seattle. Of course, last week, Drew Brees suffered a hand injury. So, if Brees is out, that means Teddy Bridgewater's in it. Bridgewater, honestly, is not that good of a quarterback, to be perfectly honest. Like, it hasn't been announced if, Brees, if Drew Brees is going to miss some time or not. But, if, but yeah, there's no report yet if he's going to be cleared for week three or not. So, considering all of these, considering all of this, I'm going to take the Seattle Seahawks at home. It's honestly the safest pick right now because we do not know what Drew Brees' condition is. See, I'm going to take the Seahawks, and I'm going to say that's my upset of the week. So, yeah, give me the Seahawks in that one. Next game, Houston Texans, Los Angeles Chargers playing in Los Angeles at the StubHub Center. So it's going to be a StubHub Center full of Texan fans. Whoopee. That tough one. I'm going to say the Chargers. I think the Char I think I'm going to say the Chargers bounce back after that loss to the Lions last week. So yeah, give me the Chargers in that one. Next up, our Sunday night game. 
Los Angeles Rams and the Cleveland Browns playing in Cleveland. For the first time in what feels like a goddamn millennium, the Cleveland Browns are on Sunday Night Football. Man, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I was on the fence with this one. I almost want to pick Cleveland because this is the first pro Sunday night game in a long time for Cleveland. I feel like Cleveland's going to have that extra motive, you know, to get it done on prime time. Uh, no, I'm not buying Cleveland on that one. I'm going to take the Rams in that one. Give me Los Angeles. And, of course, we get to our final game. The Monday night game. Chicago Bears, Washington Redskins playing in Washington. I'm going to take the Bears in that one. Give me Chicago. But yeah, those are my week three picks. What are your picks? What are your picks? Let's debate down in the comments. But yeah, let's just hope this week we can have a really good week in my picks. But yeah, that's all I got to say, folks. Hope everyone has a great day. And yeah, peace out.